Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Scottish Resistance. So let's get into it. Now the Scottish Resistance is another one of Demoman's secondaries and in order to fully unlock this weapon's potential we need to dive into the stats. Now to start it has a plus 25% firing rate which is excellent for setting up traps very very fast. It also gives you a plus 50% max secondary ammo which is quite helpful since you don't have to collect ammo as often as you usually would. However, it's not something to brag about since there will usually be ammo packs and engineers dispensers around you, but it's still nice to have there. It also has a plus 6 max sticky bombs out, which means you can have a total of 14 sticky bombs when making your traps. It also detonates stickies near your crosshair, which means you can detonate like separate stickies from the other ones, which is kind of helpful, and it also detonates them directly under your feet, which is great for sticky jumping. And you're also able to destroy enemy sticky bombs, which is very, very helpful. However, this comes at a cost of a minus 0 0.8 second arm time, which is absolutely outrageous. It really limits you with this weapon. So the stats do kind of suck, because by the time your bombs are ready to arm, your opponent is probably already halfway across the map. And the only real benefit is the slightly faster firing speed and the extra sticky bombs. So with that in mind, how do you actually use this weapon? Now to start, when you set the sticky bombs, they will turn red when they are ready to detonate. Now when using this weapon, you want to set up multiple different traps, mostly on choke points, and if there is a payload, put some next to the payload. And you also need to remember that your traps will only detonate if your crosshair is over them. But if you do want to detonate all your stickies at once, then you will need to walk a bit further so you can put your crosshair over all of your stickies. And if there are sentries and sentry nests, then place your sticky bombs there as well. Also, try to stick to just using traps. Do not use this weapon offensively. But if you do want to be more offensive, then I would recommend pairing this weapon with the Iron Bomber. You can also still sticky jump without having to put your crosshair underneath your feet. However, the arm time is probably going to mess you up quite a lot. So it's not really worth sticky jumping with this weapon. So I hope this video has taught you how to use the Scottish Resistance. And if you enjoy my content or if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.